best things about being a developer of any kind, uh, even a new one like me, is that if you're bored, you can go to the asset store of Unreal Engine, Unity, whatever, throw them into your engine and just create a small game for you to play. Uh, so in this case, I have my controller pawn, which is the guy that I can move around. And then I got a bunch of enemies. Unfortunately, they don't do a hell of a lot right now because they're just basically static enemies that shoot back at you. Uh, I would like them to move around, but uh, I'll figure that out in a little bit here. But what I did need to do was I did need to set up my jump because my jump wasn't working. So just to quickly show you how I did that was if I go into my motion controller pawn, my jump button was not actually assigned to my inputs. So I went down to my input and I created my jump button here for the Oculus, which is the A button. So then it started working and we're all good to go. And I put my pawn in the level, which is over here somewhere. I think he's over here. Yeah, he's right. He's right there. And then I got uh, just a few bad guys right here, here and there. I should probably have them turning around. They're supposed to patrol, but they're not patrolling just now, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass, but I'm going to have them just move around a bit. All right, let's have him like that. And let's get at it. So here is my player. I got this to toggle the view. So I'm gonna just put the view on a little bit better. And I got my little handy, little handy um, inventory down below. Got my MP5 here. And just walking through the level. This is a really nice level. This looks really good. I love the lighting. The lighting looks really cool. Especially the little shadows along the I wonder why there's only a secondary shadow. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm not really worried about that right now. What I'm worried about is trying to kill some guys. I bet you as soon as I figured that was going to happen. That didn't last very quick or very long. But are they all shooting at me? They're all shooting at me. I wonder if I can make it to there. Run, 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 run. There we go. Cut down my angles. Oh, there's another one there. No, oh, I did not make that one. That was a rough go. Let's try that again. Nope, oh, I'm gonna fall down. I wonder what's down there. Can I die if I fall down here? No, I guess I don't have. Oh, and I just screwed myself, didn't I? No, I didn't. What's down here? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's definitely nothing down here. And I don't have that. Nope, don't have that set up. <laughs> nothing, nothing near hand. Yeah, no, that definitely doesn't work. So let's throw that out of here. Let's try that again. Start back at the beginning. Grab myself a rifle. Oh, come on. Normally I would do this standing up, which would make more sense. Why do I have the MP5? You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Because it's my game and I can do whatever the hell I want, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more firepower over here. So let's go into the contents. Let's go and grab myself a gun. Uh, should I do shotgun? Assault rifle. Assault rifle all the way. Blueprint. Right there. Get myself a bunch of ammo right there, 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 there. Okay. I think that makes a hell of a lot more sense than getting my butt schooled right away with a crappy ass MP5. Oh, no, I'm falling. Ugh. Okay, let's try this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to put these in there. Because I got some ammo pouches. In here. There. 
All right, let's, let's rack this bad boy. Come on. There we go. Be nice to have a scope on this thing. Watch this, as soon as I get in there, it's gonna rattle me. So I guess that didn't really help. Bro, did I fall out of the level? <laughs> Whoops. So that's a thing. Let's try that one more time. Let's try that again. Okay. Get this bad boy, get this guy. It is way harder to do this sitting down, and I need to get cover right away. One down. How am I gonna cut this guy down? There we go. That makes a little more sense. Oh, did I grab more ammo? Oh, I didn't grab any more ammo. You're lucky. You are lucky, my friend. There we go. That, that makes more sense to me. And that's it. That's all I've done. I wonder if I can get up there. Maybe I should build a ladder just so I can get up there. Or, or, and hear me out, or I can go around this way. And I think I can build, can I go up here? I know I can't. Oh, I can! I can walk up it. Ha <laughs> ha! Bloody genius. Okay. Now there's got to be a way over in there. No, not in there. But there's a second level up there, and I got. You know what? I'll just take out the doors. That's what I'll do. I'll take out the doors. I'll make the ladder level. Anyway, I'm not gonna get that much into this. That's it. That's all there is. I just wanted to show you that uh, as a developer, or just as somebody who just wants to build their own levels and just have some fun, this is really not that tricky. You can get some custom tutorials on how to set up your motion controller pawn. Um, you can set up different skins and whatever you want, and then just go and have at her. It's pretty simple and straightforward, and it's a lot of fun because you get to do whatever you want, create whatever type of game you want, and play in some of these immersive levels that are just like they just look great like this is a beautiful level and it's super easy to set up and super easy to go for it so as always hope you enjoy it if you uh like what you see we're also building a game and we have a kickstarter program set up for one of our games that is going to be a doozy of a game so go into our bio link or go to the show notes and click on the link and check it out